Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create explainer videos using AI. For example, here is an explainer video. And you can see you have the video in the background and you also have the talking head in the bottom right hand corner. I'll be showing you a platform that you can use to create these explainer videos in no time. The platform that I am recommending is none other than Eli.io and this is a platform that you can get started on for completely free. So once you are on Eli.io, you are going to tap on Try Eli for free and from there you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And on this dashboard, you have a few options. You can either select to use it for a presentation on which you'll be able to upload your PDF file to create a video, or you can simply tap right here where you see start with an avatar, or you can tap on blank videos. So let's say for example, we were to tap on start with an avatar. After you have done that, you can see the different avatars that you can choose from. Keep in mind any one of the avatars that you see with a sign that says premium, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber to use it. I will also be showing you a feature that this platform has that will allow you to create your own custom avatar using either a picture of yourself or a video of yourself. So with that you'll be able to create videos of yourself even if you are not able to do it you can simply upload a script and then you can use the AI feature to create a video that looks very realistic. So you can see the different avatars that you could use for completely free. Let's say for example sake we were to select this avatar. So you would tap on the plus. After you have tapped on the plus you would be redirected to this page. Let me go back real quick and select this one. This is the one that I want to select. So I'm going to tap on the plus. After you have done that, you can go over to the right hand menu option and you can choose whether you'd like to add a video as the background or an image as you can see right here. You could also select uploads and you could upload the video or picture that you'd like to use as the background. And by the way, if it is a case that you would like to do an explainer video like what I'm doing right now, you could simply tap on record from the left hand menu option and from there you could record your screen and then you could upload it to this. So that is also an option that you could look into. So if that is the case, you could look into that option. If you would like to upload something, you could tap on uploads right there instead. So once you have added that, so let's say for example sake I wanted to add a video. I'm going to tap on videos from the top right hand corner. And then you can see the different videos. Let's say this one. I'll select the video. Then once the video has been added to the timeline, you'll simply tap on apply as background. So you can tap right there. You can also choose to make the video loop if you want. So if you wanted, you can make it play continually. Once you have done that, you can tap right where you see speech text and then you'll be able to upload your text. You can also change the voice if you want. At the moment, it is set at Jane, but you could tap right there and you could change the voice or you could create a custom voice by cloning your voice. But again, you would need to be on the premium plan. You can also change the language from English to any other language as you can see right there. You can also change the tonality. So instead of it being friendly, you could change it to hopeful, sad, shouting, cheerful, any one of these options. Then you will simply tap on apply voice right here in the bottom right hand corner. Now that I've shown you how to add an avatar, also how to add the text, let me show you how to change the avatar. So for example sake, instead of the avatar taking up majority of the screen as you can see right here, you could simply tap on it, then you could tap on in circle. After you have done that, you could adjust the size, so you could decrease the size and you could pull it to the bottom right hand corner or wherever you would like to pull it on your screen. Once you have done that, you can also choose whether you like the background to be transparent as you can see right there or in a circle and then you can also change the circle background. You could tap right there and you could choose a different color for the background as you can see right there. So let's say we were to select green. 
you can see how it looks. Once it is to your liking, you're going to simply tap on render in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, you can see the approximate video duration and then you'll simply tap on start render. After you have tapped on start render, you'll give it a few seconds and you can see your video will be ready in about one minute. So you'll just wait out the one minute and then after that, I'll be showing you how it looks. But while that is being rendered, there are a few things that I also want to show you. Going back over to the right hand menu option, if it is a case that you would like to add animation, you could do that. You can also tap on music and from there you could add background music. You can see some copyright free music that you could use or you could choose to upload music. And after you have created a few videos, you could create a template or you can use some of their pre-made templates by tapping on templates from the bottom right hand corner. So you can see different templates right here that you could use for presentations or other form of explainer videos. And as I was saying earlier, when it comes on to Eli.io, you can create your own custom avatar. To create your avatar, you will simply go back to the main dashboard. Once on the main dashboard, you're going to tap on create avatar from the left hand menu option, and it is going to open up a new page. On this new page, you can either choose to create a studio avatar or you can choose to create a selfie avatar. And all you'll need to do to create a studio avatar is get a professional looking talking presenter that will be available only for you. It also you can quickly do a footage of you and then upload it. Or you can choose a selfie from your, camp, from your phone. You can also create animated mascot or a photo avatar. And to create this, you'll need to go on their paid plan and it is quite straightforward to do. And you can see different examples right here. So for example, let's say I were to select your studio avatar. You can see some examples here. So you can see it here if I were to tap on play. That's how it would look. And you can see how the selfie avatar would look. So by uploading on selfie, you can see this one right here. You can see that it looks very realistic. In fact, with this one, you can even see the person is blinking and all of that, as you can see right there. So it mimics, it mimics you to make you look very realistic. But the price, as you can see right here, it is a bit pricey compared to other AI platforms, as you'll need to pay at least $1.99 for the selfie avatar, as you can see right there. So it starts off at $1.99 and it goes up to $3.99. But otherwise from that, their package, if we were to upgrade with the basic plan, you will be able to pay $23 per month. And with that, you will get 180 minutes for the year, as you can see right there. And their advanced plan is $100 per month. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. Let us play the video so you can see how it looks. So you can see right there. Let me tap on watch so we can see it. You can see the video right there and all you need to do now you could tap on download and you'll be able to download it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful.